G'day everybody, welcome back to Starfield. We are on Jemison, New Atlantis, and uh, we're right in front of not our ship, but another person's ship. Uh, we've met up with a smuggler uh, in the well, uh, someone who works with the Crimson Fleet. Her name is Juan, uh, and yeah, she's going to help deliver us to this secret uh, UC military installation uh, and once we get there we're gonna need to try and be all sneaky beaky to try and get to uh, that device that we're uh, we're looking for uh, so let's just take a look at the mission description a little bit yeah okay so uh, I think it's called a signal spiker or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we need to get to SY920. Uh, now this installation, I guess it might be some kind of a space station in orbit somewhere. But uh, anyway, our, uh, our friend knows where the location is. So she's going to take us there. And uh, we're apparently going to be part of her crew. It doesn't matter if we're wearing a uh, Crimson Fleet uh, spacesuit. I don't know. It feels a little sus. <laughs> so, <laughs> considering we're supposed to be, you know, trying to sneak our way to uh, board this, you know, this space station and, uh, to actually steal a device from the station. Uh, I figure maybe it might be better if we have a Vanguard spacesuit. That'll be, uh, less suspicious, I would say. Yeah, it feels really weird not having uh, any companions on the ship. Everyone's too busy in the key, I suppose. So yeah, let's grab that. Um, There we go. Alright, we look a little bit better. Definitely less suspicious. We'll keep the pirate gear with us in our inventory. And uh, we'll switch to it when we need to, but for now... I think we're gonna go undercover in this space station. I think the uh, UC Vanguard spacesuit's gonna help with that, hopefully anyway. Help us blend in a little bit, you know? I mean, I know the game probably is not that punishing and people won't really bat an eye, even if you look like a pirate, but still. Emergency kit. Apparently we can take that. Fine then. We'll take it. So, we are aboard. The, I believe this ship is called the Jade Swan. And it does seem like a very chunky ship, doesn't it? Um, Jade Hello. Swan crew, okay. Apparently we can take all their stuff if we really wanted to. Battle meal multi-pack. Sure, I'll, I'll take that. Why not? I suppose... We don't really have a lot of space for just bits and pieces that we don't really need, but... Okay. Yes. <laughs> she has exactly the same face as the other crew member. Twins, perhaps. I'll take all of their... medical supplies. Why not? Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Again, uh, 
They all have the same face. <laughs> it's exactly... Oh, okay. Right, this this person has slightly different face, so that's fine. Um, but almost every single other crew member had exactly the same face, or at least three of them. Maybe triplets? Um, anyway. Let's just continue looking around a little bit more. Cuddle sore. I'm not sure if we've seen one of these before. As I'll take that. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Okay. Hello. Storage. And I guess this is some kind of crew quarters. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Okay, these guys are basically Crimson Fleet people. They sound like Crimson Fleet people. Just by uh, the lines that they say. Cutter crate. Activate. Hmm. Okay. Oh, actually, you store cutters in there. Interesting. Alright. Uh... Let's get to the upper decks here. All right, I think we're ready to go. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Shouldn't be a problem. Of course. I don't expect it to be. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. I think I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Pardon. All right. Then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Grabbing Sweet. Power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. Okay, we haven't exactly ever traveled in other people's ships without actually, you know, piloting we'll the ship ourselves. SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. I don't know. I feel like she's too nice to be Crimson Fleet, to be honest. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC 7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity yes. confirmed. What? Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Hey. Very cool. Uh, it's not every day you get to experience the ship sort of being flown by someone else. I guess that's what it would be like if you actually had like some semblance of multiplayer in Starfield. Which perhaps maybe the modding community might actually introduce, but I mean, who knows? Who knows what's allowed and not allowed by Bethesda. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess we just need to have a chat and see how we go from here. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. 
Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. What if I get stuck? Is there any way to reach you? Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah, like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. So what's this about vents? This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goodie. Tell me again about these security checkpoints. Only military personnel are allowed out of the Coco area. That's why we need to get you to the barracks to find you a uniform. All right, well, I hope you got that grav drive ready then. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hello. All right, well, here goes nothing. Again, I'm not entirely confident about this entire idea and plan. Um, I'm thinking, do I want to have a snooze before we board? Might not be a bad idea, because we could probably top up our health a little bit. Are there any beds here? I thought I saw a bed before. Storage, nope. Right here. Excuse me. Yeah, let's just have a quick snooze. Now we're feeling a little bit more rested. Howdy. Free med pack, yes please. Okay. Gain access to the barracks to find a uniform. Okay, but there's... Captain, greetings. Oh, Vasco's here. Okay. Good on you, Vasco. There are people here already, though, you so it's like... One? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. We need okay. a lot of cargo to keep a station this size running. Do your job, keep your head down, and we won't have trouble. All right, so... We can basically move around in this cargo area, I suppose, but getting into the barracks, that's what we need to do. And potentially there could be a vent somewhere that leads into the barracks. <clears throat> yep, 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 totally natural. Uh, what's going on here? Hold up, this area is for SY920 military only. Uh, I forgot my uniform. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. Won't be long. Just give me five minutes. I suppose if you're quick. I'm on an important mission. This delay is just going to cause more headaches. It's classified too, I bet. Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first. It's an emergency. Well, if you're quick about it, I suppose no one will notice. There are still other checkpoints. No one's going to care if you let one person into the barracks. <laughs> Commander Natara would notice. And then she'd have my head. Sorry, no uniform, no entry. Okay, all right. Uh, I guess the persuasion route is out of the question. I need to stop by a clinic later. Okay. Not this way. There is something optional here. We can speak to uh, Juan, apparently. 
Another day, another patrol. Alright, can't exactly loot anything from so many this cargo hold or cargo so area. I, have to work another shift. I guess it makes sense. I'm guessing the vents might be one level below us. That might not hurt to just quickly check Excuse me. to see what's going on upstairs. What is that? Okay, Beowulf. Seen that. Yeah, I definitely don't see any vents up here. Alright, let's go downstairs. See what we can find there. Are there stairs leading downstairs somewhere? Maybe elevators. Cargo bay computer. It doesn't say this is an illegal activity though. But just in case, I'll just wait until people are not looking. Packages. I know as an engineer, packaging falls out of my purview, but I would like to report that some of the packaging from the last shipment, last few shipments, has fallen short of the UC standard. This may be anecdotal, but I opened a crate the other day and a terminal was inside without any foam, wrap or cushioning. It paints a gruesome picture, I'm sure, a terminal rattling around in a box, grab jumping across time and space, with no protective barrier to absorb the shock. It's a minor miracle the screen wasn't cracked. I asked the crew who packed the boxes and they just shrugged and told me to take it up with mast, which is unacceptable. I've heard some of the haulers don't like Miss Dayu because she's not very chatty, but at least everything she delivers is professionally packaged. Maybe that's her way in. They're uh, getting their contacts in mass to deliberately get other people to do a shoddy job. Uh, something from Elijah. Uh, not to rat him out, but I think Elijah, or sorry, something about Elijah, I suppose. But I think Elijah lost his SY920 maintenance key card again. Uh, every time I ask him to grab something from the utility room, he makes up some excuse which gets more and more ridiculous every time I ask. This time he said Commander Natara wanted him to measure the lug nuts in a toolbox to make sure they were no greater than 3 centimeters in diameter in accordance with the Treaty of Narion. I didn't want to be the bad guy and tell him that's not what the treaty says, but I think he knows that already. I know this is going to sound mean, but can we put in a requisition to have the keycard stapled to his forehead? I'm seriously getting tired of him losing it. Uh, Alright, so there is a keycard for the taking somewhere in the... Uh, oh, I don't know, maybe in this area or... Apparently there's a maintenance area that can be accessed with the keycard, I suppose. So maybe we might come across it. I'm not sure if this keycard will be easy enough to find or if it's going to be just hidden away somewhere. Hey. Hmm. I'm not seeing any vents, guys. I mean, 
There is the intercom over there. Gotta be around here somewhere. I've heard the technology in the station would make the FC stronger. All right. So I could digi pick, and it's just an advanced uh, lock, so it's not that difficult to unlock. But I'm sort of curious about using vents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing any vents anywhere. So let's just check on what sort of security this place uh, has. Excuse me? That's looking at the door. Hey. Okay, there's this guy. And I think he does a patrol that sort of comes around like that. Um, then there are all these haulers, and, you know, they're not going to be uh, hostile, I don't think. Yeah, let's just wait for this marine to pass by. Yeah, I think this is our chance. Let's do it. So we didn't need any hints from Juan. I'm just not entirely sure if there are like marines in here. There could be. Oh my god, alright. We're being detected by this thing. That's so annoying. Ah, uh, all right. So vents start from here. My bad. I thought uh, I thought we needed to try and get into a vent from the outside to try and get in here, but okay. Let's do this. So there's like three different targets. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, is that basically just saying, oh yes, okay, so we can source a uniform from three separate locations. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about going out through there. These vents are gigantic, come to think of it. Can we get more stealth? No. Alright, we need to do more sneak attacks.
Okay, bathrooms. There's a guy over there. damn <laughs> all right all right let's let's try and do this all sneaky beaky guys um i'm not a hundred percent sure if i really want to have to deal with uc as enemies um preferably we can get away without having to get a bounty on our heads if, if possible. All right. You know, I think one thing that could help is if we do sense star stuff. Yes. Let's try something else here. Alright, so... Ensign Zeremi's uniform. Well, let's chuck that on. And let's see what happens. Oh man, that, that looks badass though. I have to say. So, we should be blending in now, right? Crew quarters computer. Security standards. A reminder to all personnel that the projects being developed on this star station are highly classified and involve extremely sensitive information. As a loyal citizen of the United Colonies and a member of the UC Navy, you are being entrusted not to share this knowledge with anyone outside or any outside party, including your families. Any disclosure of the activities, projects or data on this station will result in an immediate dismissal and court-martial. For those in the cargo bay, an extra reminder that only uniformed personnel are allowed in the mess hall and barracks. I've heard instances of contractors being allowed in the dining area, and this is strictly forbidden. Win. Yeah, I have your stuff. But after what you did, and who you did it with, I don't want to see you ever again. If I'm in the mess hall, you need to be in your bunk. If I'm in the cargo bay, you need to be in your bunk. If I'm anywhere in the settled systems outside of my personal quarters, then you need to be in your bunk. <laughs> in fact, the only time you're allowed to leave your bunk, as far as I'm concerned, is when I'm in mine. Because if I so much as see your face again, I'm going to discharge my firearm right in your teeth. Jeez, okay. Um, I guess there's some bad blood here between this Liana and Wynn. Uh, Win Akasaka. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Bio matriculated to the Sword Military Academy after being recruited at a job fair. Received accommodations for markmanship and physical fitness assigned to SY920 following graduation. Okay, cool. Um, so we're wearing a specific person's uniform, right? Which means that I wonder if 
we're going to have some interactions uh, involving this person. Let, let me just take a look. Yeah, okay. Zeremi's uniform. Um, we might need a little bit of background info on some people just to get our story straight. Um, I mean, hopefully people don't recognize her. Um, our face. Liana Ziremi. Well, assuming this is a woman, uh, then this is already suspicious, right? Ziremi. Well, let's see if we can find any other uniforms, because if we can, maybe it might not be a bad idea to have uh, a few different ones. I know the objective has probably already changed by now. But... Uh, has the game basically l now let us take stuff without it being counted as stealing? I think so. Because we've found a uniform. That's quite nice. Very convenient. Um, let's just take a look at our objective here. So we need to enter the command bay. But, before we do that, just gonna take a look around a little bit more. Didn't bat an eye. That's good. You've been to the mess hall? <laughs> Culinary specialist Okoye is a damn good chef. Akasaka's uniform. Okay, cool. This is the other person that has the beef with uh, Zuremi. So, maybe we can learn a little bit about this person. Uh, yeah, we've read that. Lee, I understand you're upset and don't want to see me, but when you last left, you took the wrong uniform and my elevator keycard within it. Uh, but it's the uniform that I really need back. What do you think would happen if I was wearing yours and used the wrong cipher in the command bay? They would think me an intruder and shoot me on sight, so I'll ask you one more time. Let's meet up somewhere and trade. We don't have to talk. And I'm not going to try and explain myself, I just want my uniform back. Personal profile, Liana Ziremi. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, right, so this is actually Ziremi's, uh, computer. Graduated with a focus on computer engineering and software as a civilian employee briefly at Galbank before being recruited as military software specialist eventually was allowed to transfer to infantry at her own request, serving initial tour on SY920. Cool, all right, all right. Um, so we've got a little bit of background info on Liana, Zeremi, the person uh, whose uniform we're currently wearing. So if we get asked questions about, I guess, who we are, we sort of know a little bit, computer engineering and, and, uh, we worked at Galbank for a brief period of time. I wonder if those are the two uniforms that we can find. Urban operator outfit. Okay. I don't think that's... Uh, a uniform that we want, but we can take a look at it anyway. Huh. 
Not a bad looking outfit. Might use that for later. Uh, anything else of interest here? I don't think so. Alright, we can probably look around a little bit more and since this doesn't count as stealing anymore, we can just loot a whole bunch of places. I assume digi-picking all of this stuff is okay as well. So, yeah, let's try and just get as much loot as we can. Might as well be well paid for the work that we do. Okay, no one ever saw that. It's good. We could go back to the cargo area and just loot all of the crates there as well. Might not be a bad thing. We've been asked to tighten security on the station. Orders or orders. Ah. Things have gotten real tight since Commander Natara took over for Commander Woods. A lot of soldiers don't like it. Well, uh, I'm eyeing this safe. Yeah, he's looking away. Let's quickly do our thing here. That looks pretty badass, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. Uh, we've been in there. I mean, it's their fault for leaving their cred sticks around. I mean, I wouldn't be leaving cash just sitting around in a, you know, public area. Completely out in the open. Oh. Yep. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Advanced Deep Seeker Skip Pack. Better than what we've got currently, I think. Same style, just better stats overall. So that's good. Decent find. Frontier attire. Uh, Haukia. The other day when you invited me to the security checkpoint for some hand-to-hand -hand combat training, I was not myself. In fact, 
If I took a blood alcohol test at the time, I think I could have actually proven this legally. As it stands, I cannot. I don't have, sorry, I don't even remember the thing that didn't happen. So if you could clear this up with Liana and tell her this non-fact, I'd appreciate it. P.S. I get that what didn't happen left a trail of physical evidence implying that it actually did happen, but maybe you can convince her it was basically nothing. Damn it, I'm screwed, aren't I? Alright, um... Ensign Ngata, I've heard reports that you haven't taken your post at the cargo bay as seriously as I had hoped. While these allegations have yet to be substantiated, I have decided to be proactive and take measures to help maintain unit alertness. Uh, alertness. You'll now be splitting your shift at the checkpoint with another Marine effective immediately. With these changes, I trust there will be no questions about your behavior going forward. When you are not on your shift, leave your uniform and elevator keycard in the locker at the checkpoint. And this is another personal profile here. Hokia Ngata. Originally worked for the Sidonia security uh, team before training as a UC Marine. Pedigree notwithstanding shows high marks and efficiency with assault weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright. Um... I don't see the uniform for this Ngata person. Um... Yeah. I guess we can't exactly disguise ourselves as that person. Unless they've also misplaced their uniform somehow. Alright, alright. So, uh, let's go this way. Alright, this place is probably restricted. Explorer's Space Helmet. That thing looks badass. Take the creds. Um, can I just quickly check that? Because it, it does look a little chunky though, doesn't it? But still. I think it looks cooler than the uh, mercenary one and probably gives us a few more benefits, especially with the physical resistances, so. With the change in leadership, security's been beefed up. Even the checkpoints have checkpoints. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through checkpoints. Um, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Let's just take a look at our apparel here. Ensign Zaremi's uniform. Uh. Let me just go back. And if I really want to pretend to be Ensign Zaremi, I just need to be certain SY920 that I know exactly what her profile is. So let's take a look at that once more. No, this is Win. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit mixed up here because... There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. Um... You see Marines are way too disappointed. Yeah, it's a bit confusing because... We had the, uh, the switch up, right? So this is Liana Zuremi's profile. Yeah, okay, the, the Galbank experience and the, uh... A focus on computer engineering and software as a civilian. We do have uh, decent uh, skills in security, so I think we could probably get by with that in mind. Nice cafeteria here. Yes. What? 
Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. We have a full kitchen. Everything you could ever ask for in a star station. And here you are, eating rations, like we're trapped on a goddamn foxhole. Yes? Sorry. Ah, we heard about this guy. Culinary specialist Okoye. All UC chefs receive special culinary training. We have to be ready to cook with limited ingredients and be able to adapt on the fly. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. Maybe you like how it tastes. Means maybe he's good at rationing. And maybe good at using ingredients that other people probably might pass up in emergencies, you know, space grubs and the like, or space rats. And this place is like a maze, there's just so much. Oh, we were in here before. Yeah, and we got into the vents from here, which means we can get back to the storage area and we could steal all the stuff Drop without some cargo off. people getting we don't suspicious get a transports to this station. if I can actually find some stuff Hidden creds, I like it. I was the kid who ate too much heel paste. But look at me now. I'm green on a UC star station. Ah, here we go. No one's looking, right? Let's quickly did you pick this thing That was it. Oh, actually, no. Um, we might still have some stuff up here as well. Let's take a quick look around. Uh, and we might also be able to get through that area that we previously couldn't get through. Omen Graz uh, Grazi? Gravi Plaz helmet. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's just like apparel, isn't it? Like it's it's basically counted as a hat. So yeah, nothing really interesting there.
Got to make sure everything is checked in and counted for. All right. Um, I don't think there was really much upstairs, was there? Okay, this is a master lock. Um, Shipment was heavier than I thought. Okay. Okay, this is a master one. Might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, okay, we already have a problem here. Let me undo that. So... I can't exactly use this. Maybe that. And that. No. There we go. Okay, not bad. Micro gun. Haven't seen those in a while. Let's take that. Uh, if anything, we can always sell it. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's just try to get through this area. Benson. Uh, something came up there to say you're currently trespassing residents will become okay right I guess maybe that came up before as well all right we need to unlock that one and state your business I need to report to the command bay for duty Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Sweet, thank you. Uh, okay. Right, so I guess it's through there. Uh, we're not done looking around though, so let's just take a look around first. All oh, right. Okay, this circles back around. My bad. Advanced. Okay. Um... I wonder if he's going to turn away. Doesn't look like it.
Okay. Grab all of that. Ah, we're encumbered. Bloody hell. Um, okay, okay. Let's, um... Let go of a few things here. Maybe we don't exactly need the mercenary space helmet. We didn't get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> we probably have maybe too many weapons for our own good. Oh, got an arc welder as well. I realize that. Okay, well, let's see how we go. Uh, we might have to drop some weapons or something like that. Um, I'd like to Things be able to real get out of here without having to places. let go of too much, though. Cargo bay ID card reader. Okay. Find information on the comm spike. Uh, find an intercom to speak to uh, Juan if we need to. there access denied okay huh I wonder how we would get access then in that case So, does that depend on which uniform we're wearing? So if I go with a different uniform, is that going to grant me access to a different cargo bay? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's go back though, because we've sort of gotten our story down pat for. I think it's Zeremi's the name. Okay. So we could have a chat with one now if we wanted to, but uh, I won't bother. I think there's a chance that we might solve everything ourselves. There's been a lot of chatter rum uh, rumbling about... Uh, rumbling around about the project on this station. It's always a topic of conversation with the unit. Everyone's got their theories about what's going on in engineering. You want to hear my theory? It ain't none of my business. That's my theory. I just keep my head down, follow orders, and collect my creds. Chain of command still means something to this jarhead. So even the normal staff that are actually guarding this station, they don't even know what they're guarding exactly. You lost, Ensign? Yeah, uh, no. No, no, no. Find a ventilation uh, shaft. Okay, maybe there's a ventilation shaft in here. Not before we try to loot the entire place, though. Up there. Is 
I don't know about keeping the udons with the toxins, guys. Uh, that, that seems wrong to me. Alright, we could go in there. Info on the comm spike is what we need. If you aren't assigned to this level, Ensign, you need to leave. Oh, okay. I, I thought we are, but... Uh, these are engineering bays, so I'd probably need to get access to the engineering bays somehow. I wouldn't imagine the Stop comm spike. Right there, Ensign. All right, Ensign. Why aren't you at your post? Who's your commanding officer? Only authorized personnel are allowed here. Oh, um... Uh, I report directly to Commander Natara. Only senior officers report to the commander. Something doesn't seem right. Look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Well, if you say so. Fine, I'll let you go, Ensign. But as soon as you're done with your task, you should return to your post. No worries, mate. No worries. It's all, it's all cool. Let's just relax here. Uh, I hope he doesn't sort of trigger that conversation again. Logistics. Maybe. But I guess I need to be a little bit more sneaky-beaky now. So, let's just be extra careful here and try not to bump into people. I guess everyone's going to be a little bit suspicious. We're not supposed to be here. That is tempting. Uh, I think we'll leave it though. Ooh. UC Specialists Slate. The model as we have in the armory are fit class, uh, sorry, first class and will respond to any threat on the station. I don't have clearance to know what goes on here, but I know well enough that any security breach needs to be eliminated. Given the stakes, I've made it my personal project to bolster their weapon systems. And studying their cold stacks, I feel like I can make some improvements in their programming subroutines too. But when I told the lieutenant, she responded with that grim stare of hers. She reminded me that I need to get an approval through the proper channels before modding the machines on my own. Okay, talking about the robots in here, I guess. Ooh, okay. So this would be trespassing. And we've got people in there, so definitely not a good idea. Excuse me. Lieutenant Messina. Make it quick, Ensign. I'm busy with half a dozen spreadsheets that I'm pretty sure I'd rank you. And you know how the commander feels about breaking the chain of command. She hates it. I'm a person. Can a spreadsheet really outrank me? Are you kidding? Being a person puts you exactly at the bottom of the totem pole. 
<laughs> Look at me. I'm an engineer, graduated top of my class, and I'm pretty sure the coffee machine gets more respect. At least the spreadsheet actually does some heavy lifting. So, what are you busy with? I'm sorry, Ensign, but I don't think you have the clearance for that information. Especially when the problem concerns a leak. I need access past the security checkpoint. Well, you've got a uniform. Ensign Zoremi, is it? Just use the computer in the security office and look up the code based on your last name. Okay. In the security office. Code based on my last name. I'm sure she won't mind if we just take her creds. Logistics supervisor's computer. I'm not entirely sure if she'd appreciate us snooping around her computer while she's there. A whole bunch of people here. Let's try not to get too close. I wonder if that guy is going to turn around. That would be preferable. <laughs> Top secret projects. Whatever projects are being worked on here must be incredibly important. Key cards at every elevator, checkpoints on every floor. The COs don't tell us anything except when to eat, patrol, and sleep. Fine by me. The less I know, the fewer secrets I have to keep. Ensign Palavi. What is Ensign Palavi doing that requires him to type all day? The worst part is he has one of those annoying one-finger typing techniques that is the equivalent of painting, uh, paint drying in zero gravity. Yeah, I I've got a few co-workers like that, actually. It, it does drive me nuts a little bit. Uh, look, I'm no speed typer myself, but still. Is he writing a novel? Because no single military report requires that much typing. He's made it so I can't even think because all I do is rage. Well, two can play at that game. I'm just going to type lo uh, loudly and self-importantly until he can no longer keep the chapters in his story straight. No great fiction will be written by your hand tonight, Ensign Palavi. Not if I can help it. Take this, Palavi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, that was not useful at all. Uh, I'm not sure if that guy is going to move ever. But I, I kind of want to check on that computer there. I'd rather look at the computer while no one else is looking at me. Since no one's looking at us, we might as well. Mission Secrecy. I was talking to another Marine about some of the projects on this station, and we both concluded we don't know a damn thing about them. I get that Operation Security is always integral to a successful mission, but usually the circle of trust extends to the jarheads working the perimeter. But here, especially on the command bay level, we can't even put on our pants without having an access card. I can't imagine how restrictive it must be in engineering. My wife thought the transfer to logistics would be... would do me some good, and I can't say I disagree. I've done enough combat tours to write my own personal war trilogy, so it's good to have some R&R. &R. And slow days are a killer... Uh, the slow days are a killer, though. There must be a black hole nearby uh, the way time moves here. When this tour is over, I'll probably come back home and find the missus old and grey. Okay, now I'm officially bored. This is a high-level mission with top-secret clearance and all of that, but those are the jobs that see the least amount of action. The hard-working people in UC Intelligence make sure of that. So I'm not sure what to do when I'm done filing my daily inactivity report. Maybe I'll write that novel. Maybe this is Ensign Palavi, actually. Could be. And that's why he, uh, the other guy hates him so much, because he can hear him from... 
the other side of the panel. Okay, he hasn't questioned our presence here. I think that's the guy who was standing there, is it not? No, okay, this guy just doesn't move at all. Maybe he won't mind us using this computer. Hotshot pilots. I hear they're bringing in some hotshot test pilots to the station. They should have asked me. I flew for the Vanguard. I wouldn't have... Uh, I would have saved them the trouble. Top secret project. Secrecy on this project is unlike anything I've ever seen. Hell, I feel weird just typing this. We'll, uh, we'll probably delete later. People rarely exit the engineering bay ele uh, elevators except when they get fired. The other day, some poor engineer named Eubanks came out of Engineering Bay 4 with a box, they'll probably ship him off to Arani 1. Arani 1 and bury him in it. Okay. Wonder what's out in Arani 1. Deleted. Deleted. Okay. Wonder if this guy's in trouble. Sick. It just doesn't feel right. Still feeling the effect of that blast. My shoulder's killing I don't know, you Ensign. You sure you have clearance? Yeah, yeah, I got clearance. No worries. Pardon. No, no need to be too suspicious of me at all. I go through here. I guess I can. Bunch of stuff in here. SY920 Marine Slate. Maybe I've been watching too many vids, but this station scares the crap out of me. I hear footsteps in the vents, like someone's moving around inside them. Someone, or something. I know we're not allowed to bring in custom firepower, but I'm not going to let some excessively alien looking creature get the best of me. I got some weapon mods smuggled in with my personal effects, and I just need to assemble them without the Lieutenant or Commander Natara noticing. Hmm. Interesting. So we're not the only person who moves around in the vents here. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, we are definitely carrying a little bit too much. Uh, I might have to just drop all of that. Because... Yeah. I've got a lot of... Um, A lot of this stuff that uh, is just apparel. I kind of want to keep it though. Because, you know, as you've noticed throughout the playthrough, I do like to sort of switch things up every now and then. Oh, there's a safe here. There's another uh, computer. Story of the Heavens. Okay. I'm not sure if we've seen this one before. This one's a bit of a long one, guys, but I'll leave you guys to have a read of that in your own time. the solstice there. We don't exactly have the weight for it. I'm hoping that the comm spike isn't going to be too heavy either. That might be a problem. Clearance code. I keep forgetting to check the computer in the security room before going through the checkpoint. I've got a bit of a anti... Uh, sorry, astigma... astigmatism too, which seems to manifest itself whenever I'm looking at lines of text. So sometimes I'll look at the code for the wrong rank or the wrong surname and I'll get denied entrance to the operations center. 
I knew this was coming. Commander Natara read me the riot act for always being the last one in to report. She's not wrong. In the Marines, if you aren't five minutes early, you're ten minutes late. Funny part is, I'm sure the first one, uh, I'm actually the first one to leave the barracks. But it's the damn codes. I always screw up those codes. Also, I hate to beat a dead horse, but we never had all these procedures under Commander Woods. But he's been disappeared for reasons that remain classified. Interesting. Transfer to logistics. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I got transferred to logistics because of my issues being functional. Uh, while having a, uh, having to sit in a cubicle all day is pretty depressing on the bright side. At least I don't need a clearance code to sit at my desk. Alright. Let's talk of clearance codes and stuff like that that we might need. Alright, we didn't exactly find anything there, did we? Oh, she's not in her office. Maybe I can just quickly check her computer here. Perishable goods. Food items delivered to culinary specialist Okoye. Personal property moved to the barracks. Signed off by Dr. Marson Eubanks in place of Dr. Vogel. Engineering supplies. Pilot uniforms. Commander Natara wants to reassess the safety protocols before restarting the flight tests. Lieutenant Messina's personal logs. Unauthorized goods on station. The incident with Project Archangel highlights two areas of concern with both the safety of the projects and the smuggling of contraband to SY920. At some point, we should probably do a full audit of all cargo ships authorized to dock. Commander Woods poured money into two tentpole items, safety and security. But the safety record of our projects is terrible, and the leaks to outside sources prove security was not up to standard. Now we've swung in the oppo uh, opposite direction, and it's been a welcome adjustment. Commander Natara has put in multiple checkpoints and security measures that will help safeguard the sensitive nature of projects here. In any case, I'll need to put together a proper report on potential smugglers before presenting to Commander Natara. She doesn't like it when I make suggestions off the cuff. The list is daunting. Unfortunately, given the supplies, we need another spreadsheet for the pile. Red flag transports. After staring at this spreadsheet for hours, I've decided to cull the list down to a handful of ships that may be suspect. This is not proof of guilt by any means, they simply match the criteria I've laid down to narrow my search. Mainly, ships that began as independent contractors not directly associated with the United Colonies, and ships that have less than a decade of operational history we can refer to. In the list are... Uh, Anansi UC-576B... Um, Jade Swan. Yeah, okay, so Juan is on the list. Interesting. Claire de Lune. Lovely name. Uh, Izanagi, Kazuhiro Sakaniwa. Hmm. I wonder if these are actual pilots that we could meet out there in the Starfield. Given the chance. Um, Operations Leak. I wonder if it's possible that one of the transports I've flagged in the source of our oper is the source of our operations leak. I'll need to cross-reference the delivery dates with the ones on my spreadsheet. Maybe there's some correlation there, but right now even I have to admit there's just not enough evidence. Commander Natara dismissed my initial report as lacking anything concrete, as thin as the slate it was written on, she said. To be fair, I can tell she's under a lot of pressure. Commander Wood still has some loyalists on this station, and any misstep will subvert her authority. Hmm. Okay, so I guess there's maybe a couple of factions on the station. People who are loyal to Commander Woods and then people who are uh, loyal to Commander Natara. Um, okay guys, I'm not having any luck finding the information we need. Perhaps maybe it's because I haven't exactly been following the, uh, the Barkers here. Uh, let me just bring this up again. Find information on the comm spike. Uh, the optional thing is to find a ventilation uh, shaft. We know where that is. Um, so I guess maybe we should... Whoops. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. 
Yeah, going in there directly is probably going to cause some issues. Maybe getting in the uh, the ventilation might be the best course of action here. Word is Commander Woods might be coming. Need your clearance code, Marine. Oh, um... I must have gotten turned around. I'll say. You might want to track down your commanding officer and have them clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map. Okay. Cool. Right, uh, so it's definitely through there. Do we not have another uniform that we can get to try and get in there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there is. Uh, we kind of got lucky with persuading that guy to sort of let us snoop around, but uh, I'm thinking if we don't find anything to try and let us get access, we might have to go through the ventilation shaft and uh, uh, try our luck that way. But we'll see how we go in the next episode, guys. Uh, it's probably been a little over an hour now, so I'm going to take a break and then we'll come back to it. Right, leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two, or... Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, if you did, definitely leave a like. Otherwise, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.